everyone, today I am doing the 24 hour reading challenge. I've kind of been like in a reading slump and I don't know if this is a good way to get rid of one by like reading for 24 hours straight, but like I really want to try it and there's no better time so I just thought I would. I don't know, I might read more than three, probably not. I might read more than three, I might read like less than three, I might read like one book, one book. I don't exactly know but that's what I hope to read and like if I don't end up finishing it in 24 hours you know I'll just like finish it later on uh, I'll finish it the next day all right so I have not had the best start to this challenge um, it is 8 40 and I just woke up I only read like a chapter last night before falling asleep I'm like not good at this at all and I am just going to need to read a lot today. Yeah, so let's get started on the challenge. I am about to start to read Geekerella and I'm really excited. So now I'm on page 15, not very far but you know, I've gotten somewhere and I'm just reading on the porch looking out to the beach and it's just so pretty today. Let me just get back to reading. I might actually need a bit of a snack because I'm hungry. Um, this is the worst reading challenge ever. I'm so bad at this. All right, so I just wanted to make like a little breakfast. So I have some orange juice and it's so good. I also made like a little yogurt bowl, really good. And um, it was pretty quick to make so I don't waste a lot of reading time. Um, you kind of just throw everything in the bowl, but it's really good. I don't know if anyone actually cares about this, whoever's watching this, but like, just needed to kind of talk about how good this berry bowl is. So now I'm just sitting on the couch reading. I'm on page 98 right now, and um, I'm really liking the book. Like, it's a really fast read. It kind of reminds me of Girl Online. It reminds me of that, except I feel like this is better writing. I just want to go get back to reading, so bye. All right, so I got a little sick of just like, you know, reading on the couch, reading on a chair. So I'm just in the gym and I'm going to be reading on the treadmill or something, or maybe I'm gonna read on the elliptical, is it called? Um, yeah, just cause I kind of got tired of just sitting there. It's like, you know, a little, I feel really lazy. So. I am finally, you know, just walking on the treadmill, not running because then like when I, I kind of wish I had like audible or something so I could like listen to an audiobook and run, but like I can't run while reading, that won't work. So I'm just like kind of fast walking and then, you know, eventually I'll like pick up the speed and, you know, but um, Right now I'm just like walking slash reading and it's pretty nice. Currently I'm at page 154. I don't want to get all sweaty and stuff so I kind of just, you know, only did a mile but. The only annoying thing was like at the end of it I couldn't really read because I started going faster because I just kind of wanted to jog instead of just walk and like run so. I started going faster and then I couldn't really read because I was like going up and down. So like the words were all blurry. So I didn't get a lot of reading done on the treadmill. It was nice just to, you know, get like a little like energy. So now I'm just going to read here, you know, look out, it's so pretty. And uh, maybe I'll have to open up a window because I'm like so hot right now. This almond milk. It is like, in my opinion, the best almond milk that you can get because I only drink almond milk. My favorite uh, cereal 
is Special K. Probably no one actually wants to know my favorite cereal, but I'm just gonna tell you what my favorite cereal is anyways. I'm at page 184, and I am loving this book. So say hi. All right, so now I am on page 230, and this book is just so good. I love it so much, and uh, yeah, I, I really wanna get back to reading. All right, so I finally finished the book, uh, Geekerella. It was really, really, really good. The ending was a little slow in a way. It kind of kept carrying on. Um, but altogether, I just really liked Geekerella. And also the number one thing I do after I finish a book is see what book reviews they have up. And since Pullin' Bananas Books is my favorite, I will be Hello. Uh, watching this review because she's my favorite booktuber. I am going to get started on The Sky is Everywhere, um, but first I think I need a little snack. So now I'm making a veggie burger myself and I'm only, you know, like on page three. <laughs> so now I was planning on reading The Sky is Everywhere, but... I am like 20 pages into it and I'm not liking it and that's not very surprising because I was not the biggest fan of The Sun is Also the Star. So I don't even know if I'm gonna like The Sky is Everywhere. So I might just not read it and pick up another book and read that instead. I don't even know if I'm ever going to read The Sky is Everywhere because I'm not the biggest fan of it. Like I'm not the biggest fan of her writing style. I'm like 20 pages in and I'm not liking it. So I don't want to just waste more time reading something I'm not enjoying. This is the current state of my bookshelf and also over there. It's like not a good look. Now what I'm actually thinking is that I might read Love and Gelato. I don't know. All right. So I have taken kind of like a little break from the reading and I just ate some dinner and now I am going to get back on the reading. Um, I'm going to start Love and Gelato. So I'm going to get back into the reading. I'm already a chapter into Love and Gelato, so I'm just going to get back to that. This is just one of my dogs. This is Ruff. And she's playing with a toy that's bigger than her. <laughs> Hi everyone! So I was just in the middle of editing and I realized I never filmed an outro for this video and I just wanted to say that I finished the book Love and Gelato and I stayed up until around 1am finishing that so it was like an hour past when we were supposed to like end the challenge and I still finished it and it was really good and I loved the book. So if you haven't read it, I give it like a four or five stars on Goodreads. It was just a really good book. So I definitely recommend that. And yeah, so I'm just going to end the video. Thanks for watching.